welcome to vlogtober day 20 so today we're gonna finally be applying my following nails from the nail sets that i did on i believe vlogtober days 8 and 14 if i'm not mistaken so right here of course i'm just showing you guys as usual all of the items that i'm gonna use now let me be transparent right now y'all i forgot to push back my cuticles because my cuticles been going through it one thing that you don't want to do when you do press-ons is really not have a set to put on after you have taken a set off because you literally lose all of your length. So, I don't have to talk y'all through everything that's going on because uh, I want to talk to y'all about something. Y'all can just watch the video see what I'm doing. So, yeah, y'all. So, you know the little text message that I uh, received. So, I ended up uh, going to see that person the next day. We chilled, had a nice time, you know, we drank, uh, you know, uh, got a little lifted, you know. It's a really good wine that I had, um, that he uh, gave me, very reminiscent of Cooper's Hog Sweet Red. So, you guys, so we're chilling and all of that stuff. And so, I'm over there and I'm like, you know, yeah, no. I, I know that this this is not the move to make, but we're chilling at this point because there's been plenty of times where I done went over and we just chill. So... He's like really, really, really in rare form. So side note, I kind of feel like now uh, that he probably saw the video that I posted before I actually made it over there. And then he acted like he did. And he had made a comment like, oh, so are you still posting videos on your channel? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, I didn't get any notifications. Almost as to tell me like, yeah, so I'll be watching you. So I'm like, did you actually see the video where I talked about I was like ready to break my abstinence? And even though he had no clue, if he watched the video, he would definitely have a clue. But I digress. So he's very much so um, in rare form. And I'm like, eh, okay. Yeah, wasn't really feeling it because I had already kind of made my mind up. Like, yeah, that wasn't the move to make. Uh, we've been cool for so many uh, years without um, the sex. So I just really felt like we should just kind of keep it like that now. So long story short, uh, we get to talking and things like that. Now, this is somebody who... We have strictly had a physical relationship for what I had an understanding of, but apparently that wasn't the case. So apparently after my maybe like the second or third drink or so, he gets to like really like telling me like all about how he like really loved me, is like super in love with me and all that. And I'm just like, wow, like super duper taken aback because like, He's never been like the talkative type when it comes to stuff like this. Never ever has really opened up to me about too much of nothing. So I was very, very taken aback by it. Um, it was flattering, but at the same time, I was just like, hmm. Because I I do have an issue with being a little bit skeptical. I'm like, are you saying this because you secretly saw the video or is this how you really feel? But then in the back of my head, I'm like, he knows um, our relationship and he knows that he wouldn't have to even do or say stuff like this if it like because we would just get out how we would get out like you really don't need to put on the airs and stuff for me and he knows that because he's never done it before so part of me felt like it was pretty genuine so then we got to talking about a whole lot of different things like things that i had issues with and all of that stuff and now at this point in time you guys i'm super duper like yeah so we're definitely not gonna do anything because at first I was like, okay, well, if I did, say for instance, even though I had already set my mind up, if for instance I had thought about it and at a later time before that conversation, that conversation really killed it for me because what I was looking for was something that was very much so unemotional, very much so unattached when it came to like the longevity of it I, I don't know how to really word that like pretty much like I was looking for a flame a quick flame I just I needed a fix and that was really that was really what I was looking for if anything so once he had the conversation once we started having a conversation and we're like really delving into like emotions and feelings and things like that now it's giving me like the vibe of like taking somebody's virginity and I'm like, I don't want to sleep with somebody. Oh, yeah, side note, you guys. So I know I started off with the McCart nail glue, but that, that glue was a little bit dried out. So I ended up going back to my handy-dandy nail bond glue. That's why we're looking at this bottle now. So anyway, I kind of felt like, well, I literally felt like I said, you know, I don't want to sleep with him because now it's different. Now it's not 
just sex you know now it's something a little bit more because he's literally telling me like i actually have feelings for you i want us to be in a relationship and i'm like what the fuck like where is this all coming from never ever had this conversation but like i said for um these last couple of years we've just pretty much like been platonic friends which has been cool i always knew that like if i wanted more like physical wise i could get it but we went through our whole oh well, i thought that we had already went through our whole like relationship spiel there was a time where when he wanted it i didn't want it and then when i wanted it he didn't want it so yeah so we just kind of left it at that i thought but apparently the feelings were greater so nothing happened so i still have nothing but love for him um but yeah it's not really gonna be anything more than possibly a friendship so um thank you guys for tuning in for this vlogtober day 20 um nail applying video and little story time and i will see you guys when i see you guys let me think oh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>